Welcome to our Country Workshop channel. In this video we're just going to go through the basics of getting our land ready for planting for our vineyard that we decided to make on our small holding in the heart of Herefordshire in the UK. The field we chose was a pretty awful field to begin with, very lumpy bumpy with ant hills, mole hills, even the sheep didn't like it very much. And what you can see at the moment is a fairly dead field. It's been treated with glyphosate just to kill anything green. It's done a very effective job and so it gives us a blank canvas to start from when we plough it, harrow it and reseed it. One of the problems we had with this field was it was surrounded by fairly high hedges that you can see on the left hand side and that's the other side that you can see there and it casted long shadows over the field and even though it's slightly uh, sloping those shadows were going to be a problem so we set about chopping the hedge down to a more manageable height we haven't killed the hedge at all, it was, in fact it's already started to grow but this is taken in about uh, February time and uh, my wife there and myself got absolutely loads of firewood and brush from it and we've been sorting it into piles as you can see some of it for uh, chomping through the uh, machine at the back of the tractor that makes really nice sort of sized um, logs for our wood burners in the house and in the office and uh, yeah we got absolutely loads of stillages um, full of those and that's been really really, use really useful. With all the other stuff we couldn't use we had lots of brush fires but we had an awful lot of hedges to uh, get through. We've subsoiled the ground um, twice now actually and that just lifts some of the um, compaction out of the ground. We've done that all over the field and that hopefully will aid with the drainage because we're sort of on a slightly clay loamy soil here which isn't ideal. So subsoiling and maybe putting in drainage at a later date will help but we're just going to see what it's like uh, with this so far. Okay, it's April the 25th today and it's much, much later than I had planned, but today uh, is going to be the day that we get our vineyard ploughed by our local farmer. Today it's going to be ploughed and tomorrow it's going to be harrowed and at the same time it's going to be seeded with a, a low maintenance uh, uh, grass seed which is going to contain mainly fescue uh, grass and that just means that we don't have to do a lot to it uh, because it doesn't grow very quickly and it doesn't grow very high so it might need cutting perhaps once, twice a year, something like that. But it's quite an exciting day for us really because we've been, been waiting and waiting and waiting for this field to be ploughed and uh, today it's going to happen. Now ideally we wanted this field ploughed in, oh, when was it, it's about, oh I don't know, probably about September time uh, we wanted it ploughed and then it would have a winter to settle and uh, you know, sort of stabilised before we started planting the vines, but we didn't have a choice. It was so wet uh, this year or last year in 2019 that we just couldn't get onto the fields at all. So, so first things first, we had to get the field ploughed, and this is Jordan and his Massey Ferguson tractor with his four blade plough. So sit back and enjoy, I suppose.
now, and this is Seeding the Ground, and then followed by Chain Harry, and then a final roll. And then that's the field done, ready for planting. After rolling then that's more or less the field done and as you can see we've got a pretty good flat finish to the field compared to what it was before anyway so this is at least the end of the beginning press the subscribe button if you want to keep updated with our progress with our vineyard the next step is the planting stage